goddamn, this is the greatest figure that I think has ever been released in Sailor Moon history. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to an unboxing video. And this is a very exciting unboxing video because I have finally received the Neptune and Uranus Figuarts Zero Showet uh, figures. Da -da -da -da. You can kind of see them in there. So, um, my favorite Sailor Moon characters ever, two of my favorite characters ever, uh, one of my OTPs, uh, I freaked the heck out when these figures were announced. Um, I was literally in a bar visiting, uh, St. Jude Children's Hospital, not those two things at the same time, but I, that night I was in, with a bunch of Twitch streamers, uh, and, uh, we were in a bar and I was scrolling through Twitter cause I'm a nerd and saw the picture of these figures, didn't believe they were real. And, uh, when I found out they were real because it was tweeted from the official Sailor Moon account, um, proceeded to lose my goddamn mind, um, around everybody I was around. Luckily I was around a bunch of fellow geeks. Um, and I was literally showing everyone on my phone. I was like, look, 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 oh my God, oh my God. Cause these are basically my Neptune and Uranus like dream figures. <laughs> I waited 20 years. I waited 20 years for something like this to come out. So we're going to unbox these. We're going to review them. Uh, these are official products. You can see so by the Bandai sticker and the Tamashi Nations. Oh my God, you cannot see that because of, <laughs> it is so foil and holographic, uh, but it actually says Tamashi Nations quality. So we'll see. There's been some questionable reviews of these figures online and like the, the paint quality. Um, so uh, I'm going to enjoy them either way, but uh, we, we will take a look at that since that is something that's going around the net. So here we go. Let's uh, see what they look like. <laughs> I think she looks good. I think she looks good. So far, so good. <laughs> it's so foil. How foil? So foil. Yes. Uranus dream figures. It, these are my Neptune and Uranus dream figures. Yes. If 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 little me, if little sixteen year old me at the height of my Neptune and Uranus obsession saw these, I would have probably literally combusted. I mean, I almost combusted as a 35 year old woman seeing these. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, it's like a little wobbly. Ooh, it's just so fine. The details are so fine. Okay, I can't hold this up and get this plastic off, so. The, um, I, I have two other Figuarts Zero Choette figures, um, the Serenity and the Chibi Moon, and they have these, these ring bases that um so this says this actually says sailor uranus and sailor neptune um on here and uh it's got this like this ring that that is like the the it's not a base but it like sits uh, around the base of the figure which is interesting so that's uh that's always a kind of a it's just kind of loose like <laughs> it's weird okay so i have to extraordinarily appreciate the fact that when, especially nowadays, when they release Neptune and Uranus merchandise, um, it's like, they, they're separate because you want to sell the characters each individually, but at the same time, the Neptune, Neptune and Uranus figures are meant to go together. And that just like, my fangirl heart, oh my god, <laughs> my fangirl heart, just like squeeze, <laughs> because they're meant to go together. Let me adjust the, um, like, the contrast and stuff here. This is, like, a little bright. All right. So here's Neptune, completely out. I'm, like, scared holding her up. <laughs> um, I, I tried to adjust my camera settings. Uh, n nowhere near, of course, as beautiful as in person. And it's it's hard to show the details. I'm, I'm just using a webcam. Um, and I uh, have to, like, manually focus here, so... Sorry for the wonkiness, um, but I just want to, I mean, rather than showing you the precise details of the figure, this is more about, you know, my reaction to it and, and just appreciating uh, the figure as a super fan. I'm going to do my best here to show you guys the details. You can see the details for yourself. In case you were um, 
uh, wondering about like the uh, like the paint job and stuff. I've seen some reviews online saying that like the paint job is is not the greatest on these figures. Um, I mean, I haven't looked at super close up with my eyeballs yet, but um, I mean, it looks good to me. It looks really good to me. I mean, nothing's perfect, but. Oh, and the water, like the water effect or ribbons or whatever you can say that she's sitting on is beautiful. I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of like that pearlescent paint. I love the details in her hair and the skirt. The skirt has a lot of movement in it. And I think the face looks really good. It's hard to see with her, uh, her mirror held up so close to her face. But yeah, I think it looks really good. So looking at it closely with my eyes... The paint looks really good to me. I don't see any, like, obvious, like, sloppiness or anything, like like some of the pictures I've seen. It's all very clean. It looks very clean to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> but yeah, so she's gorgeous. Let's, uh, she didn't come with any um, other arms or anything. There are other arms. You can put them in different poses. When you get Neptune and Uranus together, they can like hold hands. Um, so I'm, I, I guess her arm comes off. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think, oh, it, oh, there you go. It does. It oh, slides right out. Um, so the, what's interesting is apparently her other arm doesn't come with her. Her other arm comes with Uranus. So it's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, Uranus has, uh, oh, wow, yeah, totally. Oh my god, I didn't notice that. Because they're meant to go together, right? They can be separate or they can be together. Neptune's other arm is in the Uranus box, which is really interesting. Oh my gosh. And Uranus has another bow for some reason? I don't know. Let's open her up and see what that's about. They know, you have to get both. They know you're going to get both. You have to. <laughs> like I said, I think for, for marketing purposes, box size purposes, uh, price purposes, um, they, they, you know, have to be sold separately. Plus you might just want one, right? Um, but they're meant to go together. I mean, they're marked, I mean, on the back of the box, <laughs> they're, they're together. They even show, make them hold hands, <laughs> make them hold hands. So yeah, they're meant they're meant to go together. How can you just buy Neptune and or Uranus? <laughs> you can make them hold hands. It's so romantic. <laughs> That's how she comes packaged. <laughs> she's got her extra arm, Neptune's extra arm, and she's got another bow for some reason. I'm really not sure why she has a second bow, but we'll find out. All right, so she comes much bigger base, all wrapped in plastic. All right, so here's Uranus by herself. This is how she comes. She comes with the bigger base. She's, she comes with the bigger base, but she's also got the uh, the smaller base that comes out of here as well. So I guess if you just want to put her on the smaller base, which is aqua in color like Neptune, which is interesting. The outer is like Uranus's color, but the inside is Neptune's color. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Hmm, that's very interesting. This is so cool though. Okay, woo, it's a little tad wobbly because this uh, this base, oh, there, there we go. Um, yeah, so here you go. Here's the two bases it comes with. The bigger one obviously meant for putting them both on and then they've got the smaller one. Is this a mistake? I'm legit curious if this is a mistake because this is basically the Neptune base. Why would, why would this inner part be aqua? I mean, it fits. She fits perfectly in there, like the little pegs. Huh. Interesting. I mean, there is aqua in this part, because, like, again, obviously, they're meant to go together. I like how the, like, uh, lightning here, or whatever it's supposed to be, is, is um, like, the gold, her other color. But there, there's Uranus by herself. My favorite, one of my favorite characters ever, ever. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. Oh my god, these are these are my Neptune and Uranus dream figures right here. Oh my god, both individually and and together. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm just like holding these up now, not even like appreciating them fully. Ooh. Oh my god. Is the the jewels on the sword are legit like 
glowing when I hold them up to like the light, like having the light of the monitor behind them. I think the sword is has holes and they're see through. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but they like glow, like they are legit see through. Not see through. There's like a hole in the sword. You know what I'm talking about? Like the gem is inside there, and when I look against the monitor, they glow. That is so cool. All I see is leg. Yes, well, she's got legs for days. She's got legs for days. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Look how pretty. Shiny! So shiny! Look at everything. There's like these little jewels. Like all the little details. I just love how they modeled everything. I've always loved her shoes. I love how they modeled like all of these like waves. They are kind of like waves. It's like, well, they're they're the uh the the wind and the sea. Are there elements? So you could you could call it like sea and wind. And then they kind of got like her world shaking kind of has like lightning. Kind of like sky. Well, they're the like they're they're like the sea and the sky. The wind and the sea. As far as the paint job on Uranus, it also looks pretty clean to me. Oh, I see now why there's an extra bow. Yeah, the paint the paint job looks very clean. I've seen a lot of reviews online saying that there was like really, really sloppy paint jobs on these. Um, I am not seeing evidence of that. I mean, maybe if I had to nitpick the tiniest detail, you could maybe say that that's sloppy? Like... I mean, on the left there, on the top left, I mean, maybe, like, if you're really, really looking to find something wrong, okay. But otherwise, I mean, like, again, I guess you could say that's a tiny bit sloppy, but that's only if you're looking literally this close. And this, this is literally the sloppiest thing I've seen on the whole figure. And I don't know, I, I honestly don't know if these are, like, hand-painted, maybe certain painters just did a bad job or something. But like I said, like, look, looking at it like this, like, I mean, you can barely see that there's anything wrong. And like I said, that's literally the sloppiest thing that I can see. I've seen pictures of, like, people showing uh, close-ups of, like, around the skirt saying it's really sloppy. I, I, mine is not like that. So I don't know if I got lucky. I don't know if, um, you know, like I said, some people just got bad painters. But I am not seeing the sloppiness um, of the pictures that I've seen online. So take that information as you will. All right, so with Uranus, they give you the bigger base. And I guess you can put... Oh, maybe this is why they give you... Well, you could just use Neptunes. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why they give Uranus the two-toned. But I think because you're supposed to, when you put them both on, you're supposed to... They, this kind of, it like, rotates and slots together. See? And then you put it together, and then you can kind of... It, like, snaps in, and then it kind of locks in, which is really cool. And I kind of like that swirly design on the base as well. And so I think you're supposed to do this, and then that makes it both of their colors. Though I guess you could just use Neptunes, because I think it's identical, but I don't know. I think this part, sh I think this, for just, if you just had Uranus, should have been um, the, the blue. But she, like I said, she does have kind of the aquamarine right here as well so I guess it matches that I don't know that's splitting hairs but it doesn't matter anyway because you're supposed to put them together right so it really doesn't matter so let me figure out which direction I don't think it came with instructions it usually comes with it's got to oh yeah yeah it did it comes with an instruction I was gonna say they always come oh my god <laughs> Ooh, oh my god Ooh, look at that Oh, it came with, it comes with all kinds of instructions. <laughs> it comes with all kinds of instructions and diagrams. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This shows exactly how to do it. All right. I'm confused. Wait. <laughs> it's the, the not going in correctly. Hold on. All right. Let's take Neptune. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh, it come. Oh my God. It comes apart. I thought I broke it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. The inner bases are identical. Does this come apart? The Neptune one comes apart. Uranus doesn't. At the base. Break the figures that break you. I will break myself. Um, let's see. Oh, is it like that? Oh, I see. 
Oh no! Okay. Okay. I just, okay. This is amazing. All right, how do I explain this? All right, so the reason the Neptune comes apart, look how beautiful that is, look how gorgeous that is. The reason that comes apart is because when you put, and I will try to do this on camera here, when you put Uranus on, it's gonna loop through that and the the bases are going to intertwine. I'm fangirl freaking out right now. There we go. Okay, so very important. <laughs> if you're gonna pose them together, there's a little peg here. So the base comes like this. This is the Neptune one. It comes with the peg over in the side and that fits both of the figures. If you wanna put them together and pose them together on the same base, you have to switch one of the pegs to the middle one. So you have to switch it over to the middle. This has gotta be it. And then when you put the two bases together, there's a little arrow. It can go, it can go two different ways. See, that's wrong. There's a little tiny arrow on both bases. And so you line those up and make sure that the base is slotted in the correct direction. There we go, so now it's slotted in the correct direction. I had trouble getting it in before, and that's exactly why, that went right in. Okay, there we go. Now we figured it out. And now, see Neptune's half will go on here. Yep, yep, boom. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I've done it. Okay. Now, now when we try to put Neptune, there we go. There we go. There, that slotted right in. Boom. There. <gasps> I can't believe the base is entwined. I didn't know that. I'm so happy. <laughs> First try! There it is! Oh my god. Literally, literally my dream figures. Finally. Yes. Oh my god. And we're not done. We're not done. They have different arms. So let me show you this first. Let me show you this up close. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! I wish, your, I wish their heads were turned just the teeniest, tiniest bit more forward. They hold hands, Kage, yes! Yes, they have different arms and they can hold hands. Hold on, I know. it. Like like I said, it's literally my dream figure. Look at the legs, they're all legs. Literally my dream figures. It finally happened, it only took 20 years. It only took 20 years <laughs> for me to get my dream Neptune and Uranus figures. When I saw this, I was like, I will pay any price. Any price. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, now, now what we can do very easily. It stays in very easily and comes off very easily. Now we can take their arms off. I know it sounds, sounds morbid. Uranus is a little bit more in there. I'm trying to be very careful taking this out. Just kind of, kind of, kind of have to ease it out. Give me the arm. Give me the arm. That, oh, th there it goes. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Arms. Arms are out. And so the reason they give you an extra bow on Uranus is that um, that arm, um, because of the way it was folded, like, over her leg, there's actually a little, it's hard to see, but there's a little indent in the bow um, because her arm crosses over the edge of the bow. So you have to switch her bow out for the one that uh, that doesn't have the little indent on the side, which is such a such a neat little detail that they would actually go through the trouble of modeling that, not instead of cha just changing the position so that they didn't have to do that. I love that kind of detail. It pops right in, like it's super easy. Uh oh, oh there we go. Oh oh it can. Oh I, it wasn't in all the way. Hold on. I was like they're not. They don't even touch. Like <laughs> their hands aren't even touching. Can you slot the fingers together. Wait. How handholdy exactly are we supposed to get? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Fingers can slot together, so let's make this happen. Yes. Oh my god. There, there is right now. There is nothing in my collection more precious than this. There is nothing in my collection more precious than this at this moment. Sorry, Soriku.
this this is my life right now oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god you guys you guys my precious look at all the jewels and stuff around the base oh my god they hold hands their freaking fingers go together i can't right now i'm gonna cry hold on their freaking fingers slot together. I can't. Look how I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. It's too good. Look, I'm crying. It's too good. Oh, how will I get the ring on? That's a good, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh oh, we forgot the ring. We forgot the rings. Oh crap, wait, wait, I might be able to probably not. I gotta say this, uh, the silver base on this figure, like, snaps onto the base a lot better than, uh, the Serenity figures. Those ones, like, the base is very loose, like, it never really, like, snapped on. This one snaps on much better. So, good on you, Figure Arts Choet, for in improving that <laughs> aspect. All right. I now have my favorite piece uh, in my entire collection. This is now the prized possession of my entire collection. Goddamn. This is the greatest figure that I think has ever been released in Sailor Moon history. Because I just, I, 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 I can't, I can't. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So yeah, this um, th this is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, I I know there was, was some reviews online that said that uh, some of them like the paint jobs looked a little wonky and stuff. I I do not see evidence of that in 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 my figure. Um, it's it's everything I wanted it to be. It's perfect. Once I figured out the base thing, I was very concerned. I was at first because I was like, this does not fit, but it does. You just have to actually read the instructions on how to put them together. I, 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 I have no words. I'm just fangirling. I, I have no words. This is, this is my dream figure. Literally my dream figure. This is amazing. Um, so for everybody watching live on Twitch, thank you guys for watching this review live. Um, I will highlight the raw version, the entirety of uh, of this unboxing for you. This took about an hour to actually uh, unbox and put together and review. Um, uh, for everybody watching on YouTube, watching the edited version, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I stream on Twitch five days a week, Tuesday through Saturday. You can find my schedule over on my Twitch page. And uh, make sure you're subscribing here for more Sailor Moon content. I have a lot of Guild Wars 2 content. Uh, more and more Kingdom Hearts content will be coming, um, as well as just unboxings, reviews, that kind of thing. So uh, thank you guys so much for all of the support and the love. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. The Neptune, Neptune and Uranus figures are meant to go together, um, but they're meant to go together. On the back of the box, <laughs> they're, they're together. Like, again, obviously, they're meant to go together. So, yeah, they're meant, they're meant to go together.